All right, so I know uh, Crimson is in here, so we're gonna do your Lion game first, and then from there we'll we'll check out that Worcester game. Sure. Remember, I'm streaming until about three o'clock, so we are now about halfway point. Raffle has been reset, so exclamation point raffle will get you in. Once again, we're doing either community contributor containers or uh, the Premium Sharks Eagles containers. Get ready for the yelling. <laughs> okay, you're with Sir Pounce and Death Sniper. Um, if you want to join for voice chat, you're welcome to do so if you've got the community... Oh, you're already in here. Hey! I didn't realize you were in here already. So Crimson is using Frosty Fur Tree Camo. If this is during the times two week, uh, week we just had, that's a good use of that camo. Um, what else do we have up here for flags? We've got Red Dragon for XP, Commander XP. We've got Zulu Hotel for Commander XP. Ouroboros for free XP. Wyvern for credits. And Fire Reduction Flag. Papa Papa for free XP. Uh, equal speed for regular XP and the um, repair party booster flag, which is really important for tier 9 and 10 British battleships. Uh, the only flag personally I would probably ditch would be the Wyvern right now, uh, because if you're trying to grind XP, um, there's no, personally, I don't find a need to grind the credits at the same time. I'd rather pick one or the other, because um, you could use maybe a different flag in this position. For example, uh, speed flag or the consumable reload one, uh, November Foxtrot would be very useful on the ship. Get you that super heal 5% sooner. Alright, let's do the, uh, let's do our screenshot here. I want to do a different, what can I do for a different screenshot? Hmm. Something more unique. Let's see. How about something like this? View from the bridge. Or, here's something I, I started playing with when I was doing the wiki editing stuff, and it's kind of fun. But I don't know if you've ever actually tried to get into the ship itself. But, you know, you can like. That's kind of cool, isn't it? it? It almost feels like you're on the ship looking out, so there you go. Now, boy, <laughs> you there, Crimson? General quarters. Now, Crimson is in a top tier game, and uh, what are the strengths of the Lion? Well, first of all, you've got these guns. They're 16 and a half inches. Uh, they have pretty darn good AP characteristics against targets that are really up close and personal, and or broadside. However, uh, you're Bread and butter in this ship is typically going to be HE, because uh, high explosives have really good. And why did you report somebody already? Anyway, your your uh, HE has really good fire chance, and you've got pretty good penetration. Um, so that comes in pretty handy. Yeah, I can't hear Crimson either. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Uh, let me take a look at my my audio settings real quick and see. Maybe it got screwed up. Nope. Nope. Pretty sure. Pretty sure everything is all set here. So I'm not sure what's going on with Crimson and uh, his mic. So I apologize for that. Um, you're in here, so I'm not sure. You were talking a lot last night, so I'm pretty sure you're you're, you're working. Anyway, so this is uh, Sea of Fortune. 
We can see that uh, Crimson is on the left side. He's now switching to AP. Um, you might want to consider like where you're, you're, you want to get that initial engagement. With your guns to the left like this, what you're doing is you're basically saying, I want to be ready to, to smack a target over here, but in the process, I'm going to have to turn right. So you're going to have to go into the area that's south of B cap. Uh, that's pretty dangerous for a lot of ships early on. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. I don't know why Sir Palance is opening fire right there. Um, but he's obviously attracting, attracting a lot of other attention. And you've got AP loaded, so I don't know that I would have shot that Fletcher. I mean, you got it. Overpen. That's cool. Lightning, are you in here too? And here's what you want is that broadside Kronstadt there. Although HE works really well on a Kronstadt yes. because. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, HE works really well on a Kronstadt because um, it's got 45 seconds of fire burn by base as opposed to 30 seconds like all the other cruisers. Meaning your fire will hurt him far more than most other cruisers. Alright, so Lightninger, you can hear me, but we can't hear Crimson. Is that correct? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. I'm just gonna sit, because I don't need to comment. Oh, okay. Oh, this is Crimson. I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to everybody's names, or voices. So yeah, I would have I would have kept HE loaded at the start, especially because if you run into the, the you know to a, a Fletcher or a destroyer, you can do a lot with AP or well, I mean HE, you can do a lot with AP too. Um, but you got that North Carolina there, you could have burned North uh, the Kronstadt, you could have burned. And now, remember I said something about the way your guns were pointed. Now you're kind of stuck in this position where you, you really don't want to go too much farther because if you do, you put yourself under the guns of the Iowa Duke of York. But at the same time, the enemy is starting to flank around where I think if you would have gone with Sir Pounce and kept your guns to the right at the start, um, you'd be able to kind of push back on that flank a little. Okay, you're using your first heal. I don't think you needed to just yet. I think that's a little early for this ship. Especially since it's super heal, you're already healed up with 11, 10 seconds to go. Feel free to comment if you want, Crimson, at any point. Um, you know, I have no problem continuing with the, you know, what I'm seeing and stuff. That's fine. Okay, so you've decided to go back to help your division mates over on A cap, which is fine. It just it takes your guns out for a little bit since you have to flip them. Now is one of those good times if you're if you're doing this and you've had to flip your guns. Now it's a really good opportunity to say, am I using the right ammunition? Because if you change to HE while you're flipping your guns, well, by the time your guns have finished flipping, you've got the new ammo type loaded. Like there, I mean, AP is going to do nothing to that guy. I would have instead held that salvo and, and focused on like the Seattle or something. <laughs> You're listening and agreeing, okay. You've got a Cleveland on the right, you've got AP loaded, so that Cleveland would be a good target to smack. Screw the Kronstadt because he's bowing to you. Watch as your shells just bounce. Or you get one penetration. whoop de doo Ah, okay, so Cleveland is behind the island. He's going to be hard to hit.
But here's where I think having HE loaded would, would help you far more. Um, yeah, you get one penetration with AP for 3,600 3, damage, but if you used HE, not only do you get the HE pen, ooh, 10 grand, that's better, uh, but you also get the damage over time with the fires, and you get them out of the game quicker, I think, at least in my opinion. Okay, he's backing up. I would have aimed a little bit more to the right. Uh, another fun tactic with cruisers, you know that they've got uh, priority target usually, right? So as soon as you target them, they know you're going to do it. So I wouldn't target him until you're just about ready to fire. Um, and if your guns aren't ready, don't target him, but just have your guns turning in that general direction. Yeah, priority target, you know, a lot of players don't know how to use priority target against them. Um, and what I mean by that is, like, right now you're targeting the Cleveland, you're telling this guy that you're targeting him, so what's he going to do? He's going to back off. And look, he does it immediately. You don't even have to fire your guns at him, and he's backing away from you. Okay? So, use that priority target on him, make him think you're targeting him, make him think that you're about to shoot him, he'll back off. Meanwhile, you can go back to your original target. Okay? So, that's a way that you can manipulate priority target to work in your favor against them. Yeah, the game will automatically target something, sure. Absolutely. Now, if you want to know where that Cleveland is, you could always pop your catapult spotter. Um, it'll probably get shot down by the Cleveland, but it might give you that extra second of warning to know that it's coming. Second use of, of DCP or uh, repair party, still a little bit too early. If you look now, you've got 10 seconds of heal that you've blown. The other thing to keep in mind too is that if you've got adrenaline rush on this captain, and you should have adrenaline rush on this captain, um, then allowing your, your health pool to get lower before you use your super heal helps in your main battery reload, your secondary reload, all that good stuff. Cleveland is running. You need to aim into the front of him there. If you notice, you see how he's turning out and he's moving really fast. He's given up. So you need to be prepared for that. You had a beautiful opportunity shot. You weren't able to capitalize on it though. Um, that's a little bit, maybe too high up, but look, he's turning away. That might hit. Down with one. Here's where HE, I think, would help because you'd be you'd be taking out a ton of his uh, superstructure with a, an HE hit, at least in my opinion. I know, I know, HE battleships, what a scrub. But you got to get these guys down. It's taking way too long for you guys to kill off this flank. Meanwhile, you've lost the complete other side. And now they're coming to surround you. So, yeah, taking way too long to make these kills. There's nothing wrong using an HE battleship. DCP there, I, I disagree with. You could have let it burn farther. North Carolina's probably dead here. There's no point in continuing to look at him. Oh, nope. Never mind. Oh, wait. Is he flooding? He is flooding. I would be turning the ship away. You need to position yourself for the next fight already. He's dead. There's no point. I mean, unless you're trying to steal the kill. There's no point in getting into... Oh, actually... Okay. He's getting heal off, believe it or not. And what I mean... When you turn like this, you can keep your rear guns on them, you can keep your, your main guns on them as you turn. The farther you go in like this, the farther away you are from the rest of the battle, which means the less impactful you're going to be.
Another super heal. I mean, most battleships, yeah, you could, you could, you, you know, you're healing at the right time. But this battleship, this is something special. You have to treat that super heal as one of those like, ah, oh, you think you got me, don't ya? And then, boink, you're right back up again. And that's fine, you know, doing everything wrong, no problem. Um, you know, we're here to learn, right? So, it's all good. Cleveland is turning away. It might be a good idea to wait and see if he settles on a course before you fire. Looks like he did just that. As soon as he got spotted, he turned, though. He knew you were, you, he knew you were targeting him. And through the butt. Now you know he's going to turn away because that's been his default move every time you shot him. He's turned away from you. So knowing that, even though he's starting to turn broadside to you, you typically want to anticipate the turn. You did leave an awful lot on the table with ammo choice and position, yes. And yes, heading north would be a good idea. You've already got a strong battleship to the south there in the Musashi. Um, you want to get this Cleveland out so you can't farm your division mates or pounce. And you want to whack this uh, Duke of York. So continuing in like this, especially if you're going to continue firing AP, you're not helping. It's like a similar replay we looked at earlier today with, um, with that battleship uh, Nelson. Now you didn't take that shot even though you had a shot available. My guess is you wanted Sir Pounce to get the kill. Which is fine. Uh, that's an island you're going to hit. Um, but to, to me, um, this is how I play. I always go for the kill. And it's not so much the kill steal. It's more getting the enemy off the board as quickly as possible. Sea Bear, Edge, people who division with me can probably attest to the fact that, yeah, I, I do finish off targets that are low. Um, unless I'm specifically asked to hold fire on a target, say somebody's close to Kraken, or they need a kill for the Go Navy event or something like that. Other than that, I'm going to go to get that ship off the board as quickly as possible. Right, SAT scores bringing up a good point. If you went north, you've got flank pressure on them, whereas now, again, just like the uh, other replays, um, the Duke of York and the Colorado just have to angle to the same general direction of you and, and your Musashi Death Sniper. Um, if you were up north, then they couldn't angle to both of you. And since you're relying on AP to get your damage, you need to get those angles on targets. They can't just keep, you know, angling to you. How's it going, Ducky? Death Sniper taking down the Colorado with the Dev Strike. And this game is basically over. And you did a paltry 54,000 damage. So, suggestions. One, HE with this ship, especially at the initial engagements. Switch to AP when they're like 5 kilometers away or something. Or if they're going to be dumb and show you flat broadside, which nobody did in this game. Second, um, go for the flanks. Try to work your way up on the side um, with your team at the start. Don't put yourself in a position where you really can't do anything, you can't move, and you're locked into place. And then finally, don't be afraid to be aggressive and push, especially because you've got that tremendous health pool. Um, work on management of your uh, your consumable, your, your repair party consumable especially. 
you want to make sure that you're maximizing what you get out of that. It's okay to pop it early if you're in a situation where you want that to come up as quickly as possible. If you're getting focused by two or three ships, pop it early. But if you're not, you can afford to let things burn a little bit more. You can afford to get yourself lower and activate that adrenaline rush. Guys, any other comments you would like to make for Crimson? As my uh, game hath crashed again. I'm not going to yell at you, man. I'm not going to... Hey, Dasha just came up and told you to get good. Um, I'm not going to yell at you. I'm never going to yell at somebody. Um, you know, we are all learning. We all make mistakes. I make mistakes as well. And I'm sure some of the things that I tell people are um, erroneous. And that's why I've got such experts as Edgecase, SAT Score, and others here to call me out when I do stupid things like that. So with that, it is time to draw a winner. Um, and unfortunately, do I have a container slot that I can... Nope, I don't. That person has one already, so I'm going to redraw. Do, 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 draw again. 